Giuseppe de Ribera's Adoration of the Shepherds. In the collection of the Louvre, evidences an extraordinary combination of observation and symbolism into a visual method of transformed naturalism. Let's begin by examining Ribera's approach to naturalism. In this 1650 painting, Ribera created amazing illusions of a complex range of textures. Look at how Ribera has created correspondences between the texture of the hay on which the Christ child lays and the dashes of paint on the surface of the canvas. This hay spills out of a partly broken manger, a detail that gives visual authenticity to the motif of Christ's humble birth. But this is where Ribera's method pivots, from a depiction of what we can see to the visualization of a sacred realm that is beyond what we can see. This battered crib reminded Ribera's Catholic Reformation viewer that Christ had been born into a world in need of spiritual repair. However, Ribera's visual language of naturalism depicts a devotional moment that is full of sacred symbolism. Perhaps the most obvious example of Ribera's combination of naturalism and symbolism is the bound lamb in the foreground. It might be that the shepherds have brought this lamb, perhaps their only wealth, as an offering to Christ. However, this bound lamb also evokes the sacrifice that Christ will make on behalf of these saintly herdsmen. And there are other animals that also support Ribera's method of making sacred symbolism more believable through visual naturalism. An ox nudges its nose into the manger, and a donkey has an especially alert expression. While the ox and the ass are fairly common in depictions of the adoration of the shepherds, Ribera's donkey evidences a remarkable degree of spiritual consciousness. These animals evoke what the Jewish prophet Isaiah wrote, the ox knows its master, the donkey its master's crib. But Israel does not know, and my people do not understand. These animals are more than just motifs that fill compositional space. They are witnesses of faith and devotion to Ribera's presumed Catholic Reformation viewer. They pose the question, do you recognize and believe that there is more happening in this moment than the eye can see? Fitting with Ribera's Catholic Reformation purpose, the Virgin Mary is given special attention. Just a simple maiden, she is beautiful without being overly idealized. Throughout his career, Ribera tended toward rustic color. And this work amply demonstrates how much he could accomplish within a narrow range of tones. Ribera would only occasionally and strategically employ brilliantly saturated colors, such as the lapis blue of the Virgin's cloak, as a means of focusing the viewer's attention. Giuseppe de Ribera's Adoration of the Shepherd demonstrates his capacity to visually unite naturalism and symbolism. Ribera's naturalism makes the symbolism of his art immediate and believable. And the symbolism gives the naturalism a sense of spiritual meaning and identity. This work visualizes a scene of recognition and devotion with the purpose of instilling these in the viewer. 